Hey guys, Kevin Muddy River Tactical. Thank you for joining me today. Today we have the FN Reflex MRD. This is actually the optic cut version. I do not have an optic on it for this review, but it is the optic cut version. So we've had this pistol for a month or so. We did our initial review on it and we've been shooting it ever since. So actually right now, as of this video, I'm at about 1500 rounds actually a little more than that to be honest with you um, 1500 for sure and then I shot some random boxes as well so it's probably I don't know 16 1700 rounds well over the thousand round review mark and this is one of those pistols that when I first got it I liked a lot of things about it there's a couple things I didn't like about it um, but overall the more I've shot this gun I've really really enjoyed it and it's really kind of came full circle for me you know the hard part about doing a lot of these reviews are is you shoot so many different guns that everyone has a different feel so it's really hard to off the first impressions kind of judge it because if you get used to shooting you know 1500 rounds through this reflex and then grab whatever gun mc9 whatever it feels different good bad it just feels different so it's kind of really hard to do the first impressions so on this one i really wanted to give it a chance you know this is one of the hot guns that everybody's talking about right now they're finally hitting shelves around in different places and it's really a talk of conversation you know everybody knows the mc9 is a super popular gun right now and people are asking a lot of questions to compare it to the mc9 i have well over 2,000 rounds through so i really wanted to put this gun well over a thousand rounds just to get a full impression on it and kind of get over the initial feel learning curve of it and just see how I like it. And to be honest with you, it's grown on me a lot. It shoots really well and it's actually shot better the more I sh shoot it, which, you know, breaking in and stuff like that. But not only breaking in, but I've shot it better because I've got used to the grip and how I hold the gun and manipulate the gun. It just gets easier the more you shoot something. So the one thing I will say first and foremost that this gun is night and day above the rest of the pistols in this category better is these sights right there. I don't know how well you can see, but that orange front dot sight with these, that almost U type rear right there in the back, these are by far my favorite stock sights. In the first impressions I noted about it and thought how I really liked them. But after shooting it all these rounds, that is first and foremost, this gun absolutely knocked it out of the park as far as sights go. I will be putting an optic on here, um, but I wanted to, I like these sights so much, honestly, and I normally put an optic on these pistols within the first 100 rounds or so, just cause I'm an optic guy. I really like optics. I shoot better with optics, but I really found myself liking these sights so much that I just kept shooting with them, which is kind of abnormal to me. But anyways, We've had zero hiccups out of this gun in all of these rounds, 15, 1600 rounds, whatever we're at. Had zero hiccups out of any of the mags, the 11 round mags or the 15 round mags. Um, the 15 round mags feel awesome and make this shoot just like a full size gun. But honestly, I've been shooting the 11 round mags more only because I wanted to shoot it how I would carry it. If I, if I do decide to add this gun to my concealed carry rotation, I wanna shoot it how I would carry it, not with a big mag that, me personally, I'd never carry it with a 15 round mag, so I wanted to be realistic in my review when I'm telling you guys about whether this is a good carry gun or not. I wanted it to be in the setup that I would conceal, consider ideal for concealed carry. So with that said, the trigger at first, you know, it's got that good wall and then clean break and then super weird reset kind of. It's kind of longer than I, what I would like. And then the first impressions, I was not too impressed with it, to be honest with you. But also as I've shot it more and just got used to it, the trigger is very, very good for a defensive pistol, which is what this is designed for. The trigger's really good in my opinion. I still wouldn't say it's personally feels as good as a Canic trigger, but as far as a defensive trigger, it's very, very good and it's really close to the Canic. Canics are one of those things that's for that price range gun or any price range gun, their triggers are so much like the Walthers that it's just really hard to beat their triggers. But FN did come 
way closer than anybody else in my opinion on this reflex and if you're a fan of fn's to begin with you know the 509s especially is what a lot of people have and are comfortable with and shoot um you will absolutely love this reflex so we've just been out to the range shooting i'm gonna load up a few mags and shoot a few more here for you and then we'll go over a few more things This thing, I gotta be honest with you, is super smooth shooting. And then like I said, you put that 15 round mag in it and you get a full purchase on it. It shoots like a mini 509, literally. Um, it's just a super, super good, well-rounded gun. It balances out really good. The accuracy between the trigger and the sights has been really good for me. The first couple hundred rounds, like we talked about getting used to anything, the sights were a little, little off to me as far as accuracy goes the one once i kind of got used to them um, i've been shooting out 50 60 yards with no problem at all i haven't shot any further than that um at the range right now that's where most of our targets are at on the high side is 50 and it shoots super accurate at that distance but inside of you know 10 15 yards where really all your concealed carry stuff is this gun's phenomenal accuracy wise and also the recoil and felt recoil is super good so you're back on target super fast and you can put off multiple rounds in a in a very small area quickly so it's very good at what it's designed to do so overall this thing has really lived up to what i think fn was trying to make you know they, they're kind of late to the market and um i won't say this is the best gun in the category personally i got um a couple other guns i like just as well however it's definitely a contender up there you know when i did the first impressions video in all honesty i didn't even think it was a contender until i've been shooting more and more rounds through it it just you like it more and more and i think once i pop that optic on there it it may very well be right up there one of the few reasons that I liked the Canik MC9 over this is that Canik has full ambi controls and that ambi slide bar where this is not ambi. However, in real world situations, I'd never really use that. It'd just be quick right there. If you had to do something, especially with the optic on it, it's just as quick and easy to do it on the front. Um, so the more I shoot it, that's not really bothering me as much either. So I can definitely see this FN reflex being in my uh, carrier rotation. I'm going to put the optic on it and shoot it some more over the next coming weeks. And if it gets to that 2000 round mark and I'm still liking it as much as I am now, it's definitely going to find its way in there. So definitely leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think, what your opinions are. You know, obviously if you're on a budget, this is a little higher than the MC9. However, I don't know. MC9s has also had their problems. So FNs has always been known for reliability and so have Canics for me personally. I've never had any issues with any of my Canics. The MC9 I have is well over 2,000 rounds flawlessly, but there is a lot of reviews out there with people having issues with them. So that's still in the back of my head, honestly, on the MC9, even though I haven't had any problems, knowing the amount of problems that have been out there with them still makes me a little nervous to carry it to be honest with you and that's why i'm still as much as i like the gun and it shoots great i still haven't carried it for that reason alone so the fn we'll just see it's not out there enough to get all of those you know bad things and reviews on them on if people are having problems or not as of right now i have not heard of anybody having problems with them everybody's kind of had the same experience that i had and kind of liked them more and more as they they've shot them and had zero hiccups but time will tell on that but in concealed carry honestly there's a lot of things that are personal preference you know grip feel you know a whole lot of things but the one thing that 
does not matter is that pistol is no good to you at all no matter how good everything else is if it's not reliable so definitely no matter what you decide to carry definitely shoot it enough to have the confidence in it and as of right now i definitely have very very high confidence in this fn reflex i've never had problems with any of their other guns and their track record just kind of speaks for itself so we'll kind of see how that goes but anyways, drop your thoughts and comments below. We're always here to help and answer any questions that we can along the way. Or if you have a different opinion or something on this gun, definitely let me know. I know everybody's opinions are a little bit different and like different things. But one thing out of, there's a lot of things you can argue on the gun. You know, whether you like this grip texture, that grip texture, triggers, blah, blah, blah. The one thing that you cannot deny in my opinion out of this fn reflex is they have the best stock sites on the market so definitely check us out muddyrivertactical.com for all your holsters and holster needs we're always here to help until next time keep practicing and always be prepared